as this year's Independence Day coincided with the weekly Sunday service by Christian community across the capital city of Meduguri, Peruno State, the street experienced less traffic due to public holiday declared by the federal government. Ramat Square, where the celebration usually hold, was empty, while streets within the city were deserted. Children were seen on the open field playing football on a Monday morning. Some residents attributed the low-key celebrations to economic hardship as they lament and call for more people-oriented policies by the nation's leadership. Most of the people are struggling for them to uh, survive, uh, for them to survive or to get what they will uh, consume. So for this reason, most of them have gone to farm. We are suffering of insecurity, uh, poverty, and many things here. Your school, no job, nothing, nothing. You are doing market, government, they pursue you for main road, then they do something, so, 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 so. That's why we they cry, we they cry. We are not happy. Me, in my own, that's why I'm crying. They further stress the need for government to subsidize food commodities, tackle unemployment and insecurity to address the plight of Nigerians. Praying for the country, praying for our national leaders, let them uh, put up their best to see that this. Security, insecurities has been addressed, more especially in the northern part of this country. The failed subsidy, the federal government says they, they bring buses, even though I appreciate that they bring some buses by after now, but no employment. Like I will, I'm giving an example of myself now. I'm a graduate, but I cannot, I don't have any work to do. I apply many places to, for work, but I did not succeed. As Nigeria reflects, on its 63 years of nationhood, many believe that much is needed to be done. John Tina, ITV News.